everyone. Welcome to Toy Break episode 251. I'm Aileen. I'm George. I'm Sarah Jo. I thought you were a shark. Well, ah! also I'm a shark. <laughs> a toy <laughs> shark. A chum buddy. <laughs> You're our toy buddy. I'm chum buddy hey. too. Chum buddy, chum buddy three. Three. <laughs> Third version already. So I see you have here a buddy that you're in. Oh? Shall we talk about it later? Yes, okay. why don't we? We'll bring it back later. Just relax. And enjoy the soothing sounds of Toy Break, your weekly internet show featuring news and reviews all about designer vinyl, plush, action figures, collectibles, events, how-tos, interviews, and everything else in the wonderful world of toys. And that noise is rain, just in case you're hearing it. Yes, yes. it's raining. It's raining. It, it happens. happens. <laughs> Jinx. <laughs> Let's start off, as usual, by thanking our site sponsors like Mr. Toast. Frombies. Puppet Heap. Puppet Heap. A world of stories on your hand. Super Power Collectibles. DKE Toys. 3D Retro. Paysaver. Tomonosuke. Happy Panda Toys. Button Lab. Art Attack Toys. Dragatomi. Tenacious Toys. And Grumpy Bert. Yay! We also have some donations to thank people for. Ooh. We have Jack from Texas, Adam from Maryland, uh, Great Toy Finds from Finland. Cool. James from Texas, Squire from Kentucky, James from Louisiana, and Ryan from the UK. And we also have something we needed to get to from, uh, you might remember a couple weeks ago, we did the 24 hour toy break. I remember. You were there. I hope you're, <laughs> you were, you were I refreshed and slept. It. You actually slept, so you should remember some of it. I, I have some hazy, murky memories of 24 hours. Fortunately, it's all available to watch. On YouTube. You could go watch it right now on YouTube. Link in the show notes. Um, so thank you so much for being there. Of course. And we have a few people to thank for donations from that show too. That just kindly, for no prize or reward, just donated to help out the show. That rules. So we would like to thank, again, Phil from Maryland, Vaughn from California, Crystal from Canada, Aaron from Connecticut, Jean from New Jersey, Ben from Georgia, Jose from California, Thomas from Tennessee, Big Toy Poo from the UK, Jennifer from New York, Chad from Alabama, Edgar from California, Christopher from New York, Michael from uh, Massachusetts, Kel from Louisiana, Greg from South Carolina, and last but certainly not least, Jillian from Canada, who stuck with us pretty much the whole time. Yeah, that was every amazing. hour on the hour. <laughs> she slept for a couple hours, <laughs> but made up for it. <laughs> so thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, not only for tuning in, but for the the donations and for all of the support. And thank you to the, even the people that didn't donate. Thank you for coming in, watching, joining the chats. Um, it, it was a pretty epic, amazing, amazing time. We need yep. to do more live shows. It was awesome. Maybe not 24, 24 hours is still only gonna happen once a year. Hey now. He's excited about something. <laughs> what are you excited about, George? I'm fondling Sarah Joe's box. Uh, again? You know what that means. <laughs> time for a contest winner. <laughs> Yay. This is the WWRP square contest. For the little Ashley Wood robot. Yay! Who's picking? Well, it's Sarah Joe's box, so I wouldn't feel right sticking my hand in it. Oop. That's not true. I do it all the time. Corey Webb! Whoa! Congratulations! The winner is you. Congratulations, Corey, and thank you to everybody who took the time to enter. If you did not win that, or if you did, Corey Webb, uh, feel free <laughs> to enter the new contest that's going on. What? This is the Dude Box contest. You could win the Happy Dude Box by posting what makes you happy in the contest section on the forum at toybreak.com. If it's Sarah Joe and a shark, you could post that, because that makes me happy. <laughs> How could that not make you happy? You don't even have to draw anything or anything. Just tell us what makes you happy. Deadline is March 20th. But feel free to draw or post pictures. Yeah, or, if you yeah, feel like it. Because pictures are fun yeah. and we enjoy them. I do. You do? You do? Excellent consensus. Who do? Did you say the, the deadline? I did, March Oh good, 20th. I wasn't listening to you. Never are. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get into some news. All right, this first piece of news, we don't usually just announce things that are coming out this, like like prototype style, but, but this one really caught my eye. And I'm very excited about it. It's Ed 209 from NECA. 
They just announced a toy fair, and uh, it was spotted at Toy News International. It, it looks like Robocop fans will be getting an Ed 209 figure this summer for about $50. It's roughly in scale with NECA's 7-inch Robocop action figure, so it's going to be really big. big. And that's amazing. You should look at the, I mean, just, it looks like it's really well made. It looks like there's a lot of detail. Now I'm going to have to go back and find the Robocop, because you can't just have one. you got to have both together. I could have just an Ed 209 If they're in scale together, desk. that's cool. How cool is that? They're roughly in scale. I'm not going to hold them to that, because that thing's pretty big. So you can ch uh, keep an eye on NECAonline.com. Would you like to tell us about something else going on in the world, George? Sure. There's a custom urban vinyl art documentary going on on Kickstarter right now. Uh, they're on Kickstarter, trying to get their... Uh, Trying to get their goal of $13,000. There's a variety of pledge levels, which will score you not only the digital or DVD version of the documentary, but many custom figures from designers in the toy... I'm not saying this right. But custom figures and other designer toy-related goodies. Check it out on Kickstarter for all the details. Cool. And finally... I looked at that. Can I make a quick comment on that? Yeah, of course. I looked at it and like everybody's backing for customs, but like no one's backing for the DVD. Like, does anyone really want to see this DVD or they just want customs? Let's open it up to the form and the like, comments. I want, I back for the DVD because I don't like, that's what you're trying to make. So yeah. shouldn't you pledge for the DVD? And so. aren't you going to want to see it anyway? Yeah. Yeah. So back for the DVD, people. Yeah. I want to see it. Let's see what happens with this. Maybe some people are just really into the customs. Or maybe, like, I don't know, under, maybe the custom comes with the DVD also. Like, I don't Maybe know. that was just unclear yeah. in, the, in the pledges. I we'll have to go back and read all the details. But you can go read all the details on kickstarter.com. And finally, Club Filmation. Oh, good. Another club from Mattel. Your favorite. Now, this is straight from, the, from Mattel. Are you ready for this? Okay. In celebration of the classic He-Man and She-Ra series... Club Filmation will deliver six all-new Masters of the Universe Classics figures from those fan-favorite series. In six-inch scale Classics style, they're designed to blend seamlessly with your existing collection. Seamlessly. A variety of heroes and villains will be included, both main and supporting characters. The first figures revealed are Batros, Icer, and Shakoti. Figures will be $25 each, and subscriptions are on sale now through March 4th. And it will end March 4th, so you have to go make sure you jump out, jump in on this if you're interested. MaddieCollector.com, of course. I can't tell if you're mad about it. I do <laughs> If you want I it. I can't tell if I'm mad about it. Are you going to do it? I already it? ordered it. You have yeah. to do it. So you're mad because you have to do it? They're yes, making you stop, buy another stop thing? Stop making secondary characters that I don't really care about. But now I need them. I'm all for it. Make everybody. I'll buy them until there's nobody left. Really? Yeah. At twenty five dollars a piece. I, we're like eighty figures deep already. Like you can't stop now. Like whoa. What? So the good news Keep is, going. are you I'll ready buy for them this? All. Are you I ready don't even this? know what an icer is, or a shokodi, or a shakodi, or a batros. So you don't know any of these characters? No. You're in? Who cares? Okay. They look cool. And they're from the Four Horsemen. Actually, they don't look cool. They look dumb, but I still want them. But it, I guess it keeps the four horsemen employed. Batros so that's cool. good. That's true. Um, starting in August, which I believe is the second figure, what I, may, maybe ice, or I don't know if those are in order. Uh, starting in August, they will start combining shipping on your orders. So you won't have to oh. pay double shipping. I mean, is that there, would be nice. Does that so like mean at first, first it's, it's apparently not Apparently the first one will in They couldn't in June, figure it out how to do it? June or July. Has Maddie Collector figured out how no, to do any haven't. simple task? They, they could be coming from different places. Digital River, their their who knows place that puts everything, gives everything to you, is not good at things. So. All right, enough about that. Let's get on to some blind box. Do you guys know what time it is? Blind box time! <laughs> what do we have today? We have Meet Those Buddies series two. Hooray! Things by, things by John Kovalik, Dreamland Toy Works. Dork, Dork Tower. Tower. <laughs> There's a bunch of different ones, and Will Wheaton designed one. Will really? Wheaton? Yeah. I heard Will of that Wheaton. guy. Remember? That's funny. He was in Stand By Me, and you might have yeah. seen maybe Star Trek Next Generation. No, Stand By Me, though. Yeah. Stand By Me. Is he on CIS or something now? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> He's on one of those shows. I've seen him on Twitter. <laughs> He's on uh, Geek and Sundry. Geek and Sundry. Ah. The Guild. Yeah. yeah. Big Bang Theory. Yeah. Hey. All right, let's get into it. <laughs> anyway, so let's they, a open one. So I want the Will Wheaton one then. Yeah. How don't, do you know which one's I don't know. I haven't even seen any I of them yet. I want this one. I, need, I want the one right I in the middle of the box. I kind of like this one. <laughs> Bumblethulu? Sir Thulu? <laughs> He's a knight. 
<laughs> it's funny. Oh, Muthulu. I like Muthulu. Yeah. There's a zombie, too. Oh. 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 Hmm. Hmm, it's hard. Cutesy Cthulhu's. I kind of want Muthulu for some reason. I don't know why. I think because I like exposed I udders. I don't know about the Wilthulu. <laughs> I changed my mind. I want the Muthulu. Which one's Wilthulu? <laughs> Sorry, Will. <laughs> Which one's Wilthulu? Is it Lieutenant Thulu? That one. Oh, Will Thulu. Oh, ah. Co-starring co -starring yeah. TV's Will Wheaton. <laughs> eh, Muthulu, sorry. All right, well, Wait a minute, see. there was a sticker on here. What did it say underneath the, the sticker? Well, there oh, is a story. <laughs> oh. They, I guess they spelled his name wrong. Oh, yeah, dogs. two L's yeah. instead of one uh, L. And, and so Dove figured out how to outsource to get the, some company that would sticker them all. Really? Oh, good, yeah. yeah. And... Um, it ended up being a really nice thing. It's a better sticker. And a local. That's oh, really? Nice. Yeah. Excellent. Support local businesses. Oh. Oh, sweet. I got I the one I wanted. Darn, but I still got a cool one. Oh, you got the zombie. I got zom zombie Thulu. Zom I got zombie the Mu Thulu. Thulu. Ah, cute. Oh, what one did I get? Oh, you got Lieutenant Thulu. You got the Star Trek. Star Trek. One. Oh, mine's from Star Trek. <laughs> <laughs> I totally know. <laughs> Why does he have a hole in his head? Well, he's wearing a red shirt, which means he's probably going to die because the red shirts always die on the away team. So I'm assuming maybe he got shot. <laughs> he's looking at it. Oh. <laughs> he gets shot right in the head. <laughs> it's funny. This is interesting. They have little, all the decoration is decals. It looks like. I see that. Oh, actually, wait, maybe the eyes are painted. Mine's all stamp painted. Oh, I don't is know. It? I think maybe the eyes are. Look at, you can see how the. Yeah, the eyes are laid in, yeah. This Maybe one, it's easier to see on the light color. This one's all stamp painted, though. The rest of Oh, it. the color, yeah. But, oh, just mine. Maybe it's just the zombie thing. Um, there you go. This is this. That's that. They have wings. They're cute. It's blind box Kinda time. Heavy. Find them at your local blind box retailer. Your favorite independent toy distributor. Yes. Or store, not distributor. You're our favorite independent toy distributor. Thanks. What is a dork tower? Is that something? It's like, a comic online. Is, it, uh, you should read is it. this, like, a character in the comic? I don't know, but I'm guessing yes. But John Kovalik wrote <laughs> Dork Tower, or he writes Dark Ta Dork Tower. Okay. Yes. And then this is his little his creation. character that he created. Okay, cool. I'm pretty sure it's in the comic. Like 99% sure. They sell really well. Excellent. Who doesn't well, you like should go check them out yourself. Cthulhu things. And if you can't find them, tell your local retailer to contact yeah. DKE Toys to get them for you. Mm -hmm. They are articulated, or mine was, but the paint on some of these are really sticky. Oh, mine doesn't seem articulated. Like, oh, mine has a thing coming out. Oh, that's weird. Like this is definitely articulated, but like only on pox. this. Like this one's. <laughs> it's a cow. <laughs> Get it? Because the three things are like udders. Oh, I didn't even. Oh, <laughs> utter face. Like it's utter face. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, utter face? All right. Everything good at her face. Uh, uh, let's move on to some reviews. All right. I think well, you should pull the box out first for this. Okay. Since we're already kind of seeing it. But you got to see this box with James Franco <laughs> sitting <laughs> in a... Oh, I got the kid sign. Oh, wait. Show the James Franco side. That's funnier. <laughs> Chum buddy. This part, this part's my favorite. Reusable vacuum bag. <laughs> it says it. Like, I don't think that's why you're buying your your shark sleeping. No, bag. it's a but added benefit. Yeah, and it is valuable. A vacuum bag. Do not wash. Do not iron. Do not bleach. Do not dry. Dry clean only. Okay, I was like, how do you clean it? If you can? <laughs> huh? Look at that. Uh, Basically, don't. Sp anything these on are six feet seven inches long by two feet seven inches wide for the adult version for the adult which version. is two hundred dollars hello hello there's a shark coming at me this is the adult version that we have here sarah is not actually as small as she appears <laughs> sarah's small but she's not quite child size small which is good because then she would get confused although then we could pay the, the child rate at disneyland hey. mm. Um, it's $100 for the child size, so directly in half. But this is one of the amazing things. So you might have noticed we said Chum Buddy 3. Mm -hmm. Third version of this creation, mm -hmm. the sleeping bag art art bag. <laughs> it's an art bag. It's so art this bag. one comes with a removable dorsal fin pillow. How, look, look at how much fun you can have with it. Here it comes. George's having fun. George. 
It soft. is. It's very soft. Compared to the others, how do you like it? I like it. Um, it's warm. It's soft. It's, I like that it has a removable fin. It seems like to have more fins or something <laughs> than the last one. More fin? It seems like everything would they make it extra cozy, like for laying around and watching TV. You could have a kid on each side of you, like laying on a fin. Everyone could. Everybody can cozy participate. Up. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. Right? That's amazing. It's all soft. And it I looks like, like the color of this one more than the last time it was on. It's this one has hue. a white belly. A white belly with a blue top. And it's got these crazy like vinyl eyes. I think the other one didn't have that, did it? Mm -mm. It must have, no? I don't think it did. I don't think so either. I think huh. they're fabric. But, but it's on the back. You so can it's not go like back to there. episode... Whatever. Beep, boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Fill it in later. <laughs> and um, compare. And compare the one I'm wearing that day. Right? I hope there's like 10 hey. versions of this. So there ends up being like 10 toy Every breaks. Every time you're on toy break, shark. you have to be in a shark. <laughs> but they're $200 for the adult size and there's a child size. Mm -hmm. Which is $100. So the whole family can have a shark. What do, she, what do sleeping bags cost? I have no idea. I haven't well, bought a sleeping bag costs in a million years. 110 I don't... Like a real sleeping bag? Yeah. Oh, I, I don't know. Like, is this comparable? I don't no, know. I still have a sleeping bag from when I was a kid. I don't know. I, if you were going to go, like, sleep out in the snow or something... Not with this. No. This is not no. for... This is an like indoor... Coleman. This is what they might... Didn't they call them slumber party bags? Yeah. Like, this is for funsies hanging out. Yeah. Right. Funsies hanging out. Watching TV, watching Jaws. Oh, how cute would that be? Oh, it's adorable. Everybody watching Jaws in their little... Okay, chum, chum buddy. Legs. So anyway. Are you done with that? <laughs> yeah. I'm in here. I'm over chum buddy. Are, are you going to stay in your chum buddy? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Is that funny? We'll put that <laughs> fin back there. Okay. Finally. Up next, you saw this at the beginning of the show, but here it is. Tell us about it. This is Bunny Width by Alex Pardee. Uh, five different Bunny Widths are included, and there's a bunch of different colors. There's five different colors. Five different plus colors. Plus a bonus color. So and you maybe remember the first version came out at Comic-Con. Those were glow in the dark. And we sold those at Comic-Con for $5 a piece. And these are going to retail just like this in the display box for $2 each. Boom. What a deal. Boom. And they're sculpted by this guy, George Gaspar. Boom. What a deal. So the first five <laughs> colors, there's a flesh OMFG color. Yay! See, it matches those. Um, then there's a weird lilac. Why is it weird? I don't know. Like, these two Easter colors are kind of weird to me. I like it. Lilac like those. and, like, a, a minty. Easter, Easter those mint Those are totally green. Alex Pardee colors. No, they are. There's white. For OMFG the matching white? For the painter and you. And matches then there's a nice toy. red um, <laughs> for, the, for the five basic colors that come in here. And then every oh, wait, there's case, more. if you buy a case... If you buy a case, you get Two complete sets. Right. Nice. And one single gold chase. Ooh. Shiny. So what you need to do is hit up your local store that's going to be buying some cases, cases and then beg them to hold you the gold one. The gold chase. Or buy a bunch of cases and then you'll have all the gold chases. And then Ooh. you can sell them on eBay to pay for your case. <laughs> Wait, what? But That's... again, they retail for two bucks each in stores, so it's a uh, reasonable, fun collectible. That's totally fun. That's a piece of Alex Party's art for $2. You can't get that anywhere else. Yeah. Alex Party's awesome. I'd and Bunny With is funny. What does Bunny With stand for, by the way? Based upon nearly nothing, you will indulge in these hairs. Haha, -ha, hairs, because they're bunnies. <laughs> That's funny. Thanks, thanks, <laughs> thanks, Alex, for that one. <laughs> Thank you, Alex. And thank you, George, and thank you, TKE. Thank you, everybody. Bunny. Yeah. Every bunny. Every bunny! It's a bunny Halloween costume. And Easter is coming, yeah. I gotta say. Is that it like is. winter is it's coming? It's perfect time to Easter buy bunnies. Easter is coming. And actually, these aren't even out yet, but they are coming very soon. So these are our samples, but they will be in these boxes. And So again, check your favorite online toy retailer and local retailer and uh, tell them to get them from DKE if they haven't already... The nice thing the about order. these colors is that you can actually see the sculpt. Like the glow in the dark. It was really hard was to really see. really hard to see what they looked like. Yeah, but glow in the dark is just fun. Yeah. yeah. People like it. Also, go <laughs> I well like your with thing. It. And we didn't I... say what all the bunnies are, but they oh, yeah. there's bunny with Siamese twin, Bing. bunny with mesmerizing eye, Ooh. 
bunny with no legs. You have to buy this one to see the cool bottom. Yeah, it's fun. Not gonna show you. Bunny with um nothing. And bunny with hammer hammer. Yay! Bunny with um nothing is just the regular bunny one. My favorite is bunny with no legs. Really? Everyone yeah. has a favorite. Like well, because if you Siamese got Alex's playing. Dunny, he's Bunny with no arms. That's funny. So then you could have him sit next to your Bunny with no legs. They have no appendages. It's there funny. There you go. <laughs> I think it's funny. She All thinks right. it's funny. Bunny with, go get him. You want him. Two I bucks. want him. <laughs> Apparently George is keeping this Bunny with. What else do we have? In case you haven't noticed, we How should probably tell bucks? everyone. You can't really beat two you bucks. Can't. You can't. You can't. Uh, I want my two dollars. Um, in case you're wondering, you might know this is a DKE episode. It is. All of the stuff that you're seeing, you can get at DKE. That's true. How awesome is that? Amazing. Or tell your local store to get it through DKE. Yes. Yep. <laughs> Even better. And check our blog, dketoys.com slash blog. And um, you can always see what's coming out and what's going on, what we did, where we're going. And I've even been posting vintage posts and all kinds of stuff. So Yay. Mm -hmm. And like us on Facebook. <laughs> So what do we have up next? Power Mazinga Z, Power Mazinger Z, the original version. We had one on a while ago. Quite a while ago. Yeah. Uh, that was a different version. This is by Go Nagao. Do you want to pull that one up? I'm just distracted by the box. Toma and Phalanx. This oh, figure combines the Mr. Thing. Power platform toy by Phalanx with the essential oh, elements of Mazinger Z, the Jap a Japanese manga. Manga, an anime series <laughs> created by Go Nagai in 1972 with the signature style of Toma. The original version here features a blue and white color scheme Ooh. for $90. Uh -huh. So box, simple. We didn't. We just noticed it had a window. Boom. Which is nice. It is nice. So you can make sure you're getting the thing that you wanted. <laughs> uh, there's artwork right there. George would maybe say suitable for framing. I don't know. No, it goes not around suitable. the corner. Not suitable for framing. But the toy is suitable for having. <laughs> it is suitable for having. I like the articulation on this thing. It's not You don't see a lot of vinyl toys with like this, this much or this style of articulation. Yeah, it is unusual. It's sort of a vinyl action figure. Yeah. I particularly... I think this toy is really cool because I like Toma's style. So I like his take on other characters, like when he did the Godzilla. Mm -hmm. I like seeing his take on other characters like this with, you know, the big mouth and sort of his stylistic, something very, you know, unique about his style choices. You know who anyway, else likes it? Nathan. And Nathan probably does like that. I would imagine. Nathan, do you like it? Leave a comment. Uh, but I also particularly like the colors on this one. That's I think what it's, I was going to say. Please do. Yeah, the colors and the paint. I really like all the flames and the different patterns and... There's even subtlety here with this blue paint on mm -hmm. black. It's really pretty. Yeah, I really like this. I think it stands out even more. The one we had before was purple and uh, red. Yeah, the colors were weird and together. I, I actually like the colors, but this one to me is more dynamic mm -hmm. in its color choices. And I think, I don't know, something about that, that's really going to match your like Japanese toy shelf. Yeah, it does. Yeah, because like, boom, pop. Mostly because of the flames, but... Except and for you can make them like punch things. I wonder if Japanese toy collectors would like this or not. That's a good question. Like skull brainers. Do you guys like this kind of thing? Good question. Somebody who's watching, go to skull brain and, and <laughs> ask, ask them. if they like this. And I'm, report back. I'm scared of them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, this is really cool. I like this figure. There's not a lot more to say about it, but the detail is really nice. And I think once you see it in person, you'll, you'll be astounded by the colors. Yeah, it's pretty. It's like a car. And he's got a great, like, the way it's sculpted and made with the joints... It, this is just a swivel, but it's got a cool character to, like, the head turn. It has a lot of attitude. Attitude is the word. It huh? used to be bird. Now it's <laughs> attitude. <laughs> Speaking of attitude, I know someone with a great attitude. Is it me? No, it's oh. Jesse Hernandez. Ah! <laughs> I mean, who doesn't love Jesse Hernandez? The I guy is anybody. super nice. Look at the size of this toy. 
Look at this. Or at least the I box. Mean, this box is. I don't know how big the toy this is. This box yet. is pretty awesome. I mean, this is like this is the size box you want your Christmas presents to be when you're a kid. You're like, yeah. yeah. This if, thing is huge. If this was your Christmas present, you wouldn't even need to wrap it because no. this is better wrapping paper than mm -hmm. any Christmas paper I've ever seen. Except for the this Justin actually... Bieber wrapping paper that I had. Okay, fine. It was pretty good wrapping paper. <laughs> Who George? doesn't love the Biebs? <laughs> He's talented. <laughs> Say it. Baby. Whoa, wow. look at this thing. Holy cow. This is a monster. Yay, look at all the accessories. Oh, wait, there's tape. Oh, we got some tape. Do we have... I had scissors. We had the scissors. We had them. Uh, 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 we can just do this. Let's see. Okay, pull it up, and then I'll get my finger in it. See, look. Oh, tape. Foiled by the box. Got it, yay! See how easy it is to open everyone? Holy cow, this thing is huge. So what we have here is the Jaguar Knight OG Edition, again by Jesse Hernandez and Pauber. Uh, this weapon-wielding warrior from the ancient Aztec military towers over other figures at 12 inches tall and, and uh, features seven points of articulation. It comes with, I am not even gonna say that right, Makuthal? And shield? It looks like a sword. Uh, it is limited to 360 pieces, including chase versions, which are approximately one out of six. Ooh. Ooh. And it goes for 120 bucks. It's only $10, $10 an inch of vinyl. How That's much is this? Good. 120 Yeah. That's a pretty good deal. This is a huge I'm piece. Pretty, I'm pretty okay with that. I don't know who and let me figure this out. You. I like watching. Uh, while you're while you're putting it together, I'm going to read this because yeah. this is my favorite part, and I think this should be on everything. <laughs> uh, the outer packaging serves as a protection against damage from for the inner product. We are unable to replace this package, even if it's damaged. <laughs> I, I'm completely fine with that because that's what a box that's, is. It's just a box. Like if you get one and it has a ding in it or a little crushed corner, relax. It's a box. You're supposed to be taking your toy out anyway. I'm there gonna, was a time when people didn't keep those things. I'm going to say that speaking of opening up something for Christmas, this mm -hmm. is a dad job. Oh, dad. <laughs> <laughs> Look at how bright yellow his outfit is. It's awesome. I am really digging this. I hadn't seen one in person till now. Of course, um, I did put it up on the blog, so I was checking out the images, but um, I hadn't seen it in person, and it's pretty amazing. I feel like it's like Chinese New Year. I know it's Aztec, but like... All the colors, too. Yeah, it's kind of got that... And somehow it even... Yeah, they've got a lot of... Come on, Dad. <laughs> I know, right? We want to play with it. We want to take it out and play with it. It's rough. So, you, what do you do? Yeah. You're sticking the sword in the bottom, and then... And then that attaches ah. to the top. Oh, ah. you got it. Well, yeah. yeah. That's what you do. Maybe leave that in there once you... Oh. If yeah. you could just... You just got to wiggle it in there. It just takes a minute. Just jam just it in. Jam that in. Jam just it in the a hole. little more. I like that song by Electric Six. It's a good song. So again, with the... Uh, what you may not be able to see is it's got all the little swirlies are kind of a metallic gold and lots of metallic gold detail on the teeth. It's nice. I think it's a striking figure. Mm -hmm. It's very sculptural. I, I mean, it's... toes are my favorite. It's big, and it really makes a statement. It does. It says, I'm here, and I'm going to clobber your other toys. Yeah, this <laughs> thing will overpower your shelf, that's for sure. This needs its own shelf. He but, kicks all the other toys off a shelf. You know, I always love stuff that I know is not going to fall over. And yes. with these giant feet and the tail holding oh, it, it. Nice. I mean, that thing is not falling over. No. Three points of giant... Sturdiness. I love like the old like it was kind of in like the late nineties style of like big feet characters, mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. big big baggy feet, like big pants, like that this is the I know, style. everybody who's met you has seen your pants. Alright, I wear large pants. If I could get Jankos anymore, I would still be wearing Janko jeans. I don't know what that is, but I will be Googling that. <laughs> <laughs> um Oh I like his tail. So I yeah, I so love this big big hands, big feet, like <laughs> clunkiness character like this is a really cool piece this to me is sort of the essence of what a designer toy is wow don't i mean it's it's the sculptural character -y style like cartoony but 
And it's a great interpretation of Jesse's work. Yes. And when you yes. look at the art on the box or you look at Jesse's other work, I mean, this absolutely shows you what his stuff goes oh, from 2D, 2D to 3D. I mean, it's, it's kind of awesome. He's pretty good at that, though. He's a like good designer. A yeah. Wall relief plaque of that. Whoa. Uh, a wall. Tell Jesse. That would actually. Like a vinyl relief, like a vinyl. It would be awesome to do in like ceramic, and you could hang it out on like your outside patio. Oh, or, nice. oh that would be And cool. it could spit water. <laughs> Jesse, are you watching? Gold. Golden ideas here. Jesse Hernandez Fountains. <laughs> Coming from DKE <laughs> soon. We could totally sell those. This thing is super heavy. I mean, not like super, but like, this is a good chunk of toy for 120 bucks. Yeah. The yellow isn't my favorite color. I'm guessing they're going to do more colors. But isn't that just because you don't, you're not a fan of yellow? Yeah, like for me... It has I'm, nothing to do with the toy. No, yeah, yeah. No, I'm just saying like for me, I would probably wait for a different color for me. Because hmm. like the yellow is like a little bit bright for what I would collect. But I kind of like it. I like. I mean, it's still great. I'm not saying it's bad in any way. And the paint apps all look really good. Mm -hmm. Looks very clean. I mean, these symbols are straight off of like old stuff. It's cool. Old stuff. He got them from old stuff. Awesome. Thanks, George. <laughs> cool. So that is it. The Jaguar Knight. Check it out. Check it out. I think we have one more thing. I think there was one more. Whatever could it be? It's the temper top from Ron English. Well, I know somebody who's been wanting to see that. I have. <laughs> so, Temper Tot here by Ron English. It's an eight, in eight inch tall vinyl figure. It's half infant, half Hulk, signifying that combustible amalgamation of unbridled id and unbounded brawn. I didn't make that up. That's from Ron. That's from the Ron the art. I assume it's from the artist himself. I kind of want that before I mean, we get into that. I want that. The skull? Yeah, look how cool that is. is With the stars? Cool. I want to sculpt so that. Odd. I think they made that. Didn't they make that? Maybe know. not. Temper top. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this goes for $70. <laughs> this is awesome. Ron made it. You know, Papaganda's uh, Ron English's company, yes. and they have made many toys. Uh, on their own they're just making mm -hmm. stuff they made the um the fat tony fat tony which and, is a great figure and the captain cornstarch captain cornstarch and and here is the they did the charlie uh, brown right right mm -hmm. and, uh, and lucy the, mm -hmm. and the figment and they just they're making stuff based on ron's paintings and so ron painted this and now here it is i wonder who sculpted i want i would love to know who sculpted it it's really rough mm -hmm. um but, I mean, it's still cool. I still like it. Would you like it better if it weren't rough? No. I mean, it's it's fine. I, it's I like the, I choice. still Yeah, I still like the style, but it's just a really rough sculpture. Does it turn at the waist? It doesn't turn anywhere. Yeah, it okay. doesn't it's have just a statue. Anything. It's just a statue, yeah. I think that the roughness kind of really lends to it. Yeah. I like think it, it, makes it gives it more uh, depth or character or something. I like, I like, I want to like what this is. No, you don't. You want to hate it. I don't want to hate. That's but, not what but, I want to do. you know, admittedly, you're not a huge fan of Ron's I'm not. Work. And, like, everything can't talk to everybody. Because no, then we would all fine. collect the same thing, and that would be boring. Uh, I find the face really creepy. <laughs> That's what I like, like the most <laughs> about it, I think. Like, I don't... Like, the rest of it, whatever. <laughs> Look at that like, one. I could, so I could do without... Like, who cares? It's a Hulk <laughs> body. Like, whatever. It's Hulk. But, like, that head <laughs> is the best part of it. Wait a minute. Do you know what this reminds me of? That's, that site that you go to with the where the guy, where the dad is holding a baby and then they'll switch oh, the heads? That, where they swap oh, them? Oh, no. What is that site? <laughs> I love the swap She's ones. finning me. Um, I'm getting finned. Ah! I mean, something different on Glee. Oh. Uh, this, it, this is a toy version of that site. The funny man thing babies. about is it man babies? I don't I don't know what it is. <laughs> the funny thing about this is like instead of taking like a pop culture thing and taking the head of it and putting it on something else, <laughs> he took his, a random baby giant baby head and put it on something like his own 
his own thing and put it on the body of something else. So I don't know. Like as far as like my. But it's still an original piece. Well, I mean, as far as my rant went year, weeks ago, it's people would think this would fall into it, but I don't. So it's fine. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion. Exactly. Sure. I think this is funny. And it has nipples, which I know that you like on a toy. Well, it should. I mean, it's a man, right? And a baby. And a Hulk. I don't know what else to say about it. It's funny. There it is. It is funny. I feel like Scott's going to need this. I feel like I need this. Do you feel like you need this? Let us know in the comments. <laughs> Do you enjoy such a thing? It's, it's so weird. <laughs> There's really no more. I think we could just sit here and watch George look at it for a while. We could, because like, he'll look at it, and like five minutes later, after silence, he'll be like, you know, here's the thing about yeah, this. Yeah, you know what it is? I want to take the head away from this body. Like, I want the, I want the sculpture that this was from. Why? Like, I want the... Because look at how weird and creepy that is. Like You're weird and creepy. Yeah, what she said. It was big... That's what she said. Whole king it's head. very realistic. Just a little lip like going out over the top. And he's got the little, he's a little duck lip and like a little like pulled like. I think he might be pooping from that expression on his face. He's angry. <laughs> Maybe that's why he's angry because he's pooping. Maybe that's why you don't like him. You wouldn't like him when he's angry. <laughs> <laughs> so there was a happy <laughs> version of this. I, would I, would, like I could be in on that. Anyway, check it out. It's uh, seventy bucks. Tem temper tot. Seventy, Thanks. huh? Thanks, Ron English, for more fun from you. But you could check stuff like this out at your local retailers from DKE Toys, dketoys.com, slash blog. Follow Sarah and all the little, like, he's wonderful a, new products that she posts. It's a little turn. <laughs> like he's got a little bit of a pose to him. Like it's not just a guy he's standing there. He's this. like a little. Right. I kind of want to hide him in the yard. <laughs> oh, like he's peeking out from like under something. <laughs> I think we should do a photo series or something. Let's get on that. Seventy. So, um, is anyone going to Emerald City Comic Con? Let's ask them in the event section. Is anyone going to Emerald City Comic Con? It's the largest comic book and pop culture convention in the Pacific Northwest at the Washington State Convention Center in Seattle, Washington from March 1st through 3rd. EmeraldCityComicCon.com. I would like to get up there one of these days. That'd There's still fun. time. All right, let's go. Let's go. We should go to that. Are we'll you driving? See. Can I just sit in the back? Yeah, I want to drive. <laughs> I would like to drive. That would be a beautiful drive through the Redwoods and <sighs> Oregon. So take and forever. then on the way back, I bet I know where you could stop. Voodoo Donuts. The Bricks Cascade, a Lego <laughs> fan convention at the Oregon Convention Center in Portland, Oregon, with public days on March 9th and 10th. BricksCascade.com. I just totally did the whole event section myself. I love your energy, Sarah Jo. And That's I love, it! And I love when you're on this show. <laughs> and I love you in a shark. Stop taking my fins! But I was keeping my lap warm. They're mine! Mine! <laughs> don't look at me! <laughs> See, when you just don't want people to look at you, you're like, oh, we get to share. <laughs> and don't forget, we still have the re detachable fin back here. For your. Oh. <laughs> well then, with that, don't forget you can save money with Toy Break coupons online, many different retailers. You can check the show notes at toybreak.com for complete details, as well as links to everything we've talked about here. Don't forget, dketoys.com. <laughs> everything we've talked about here. You can also watch past episodes joining the contests and the rousing toy discussions on the forum. You can also check out the goodies page for fun freebies like Toy Break Paper Toys. Hey, there's even one of me. Ah, there's three different <laughs> kinds by Alexander Gwynn, Zacane, and Calcifort. You can also, if you're enjoying the show, uh, thank you for donating, but you can also just do what you do normally, shopping on Amazon. Go click on the Amazon link on toybreak.com. Mm -hmm. Do your shopping as normal. Doesn't cost any extra. We get a little bit. I fixed helpful. my link in my bookmark bar so that it's that link. So whenever I go to Amazon, it's automatically referring from it. Toy Break. I don't Yay. even have to think about it. Not even extra. Also, you know what you can do that I figured out? Hmm. You could put, like, let's say you're out and about and you're scanning things in Best Buy and you're like, oh, it's cheaper on Amazon. I want to buy it there. Not that I've ever done that. Um, so you put it in your cart and you're like ready to go. When you get home, mm -hmm. click on the Toy Break link and it's all in your cart. You can just it's awesome. check out. It's so easy. Just as easy as calling and leaving us a voicemail at 818-AM-I-GOOD. 
can also email us at info at toybreak.com. Keep up with us on Facebook at facebook.com slash toybreak. Check out our toy briefs, our full episodes, and our toy girls episodes. Yay! At youtube.com slash toybreak. Also the whole 24-hour uh, live toy break. Unbelievable. On YouTube. Amazing. If you want to go relive some sleepy Luke Chu, that's the place to do it. Yeah. <laughs> you can also follow us on Instagram and Twitter. I'm at Aileen Gaspar. At George Gaspar. At Sarah Joe or at Sarah Joe Marks on Instagram. Yay, that's you. And now. At Baby Hulk. <laughs> somebody has to have that. So let's go find out who that is. That's probably somebody. <laughs> and now, here's your toy break.